It's the 28th of May 2017 and this is the Royal William Yard Plymouth Festival. Ian Cameron, Art and Design. What's your name? Ian Cameron. And uh, what's this exhibition? It's the final major project. We're studying a diploma in Art and Design. We've been doing it for a year and part of that final project is we have to do an exhibition. So we've organised this exhibition ourselves. There's eight students, put this all together. With the kind help of Jim Pascoe, he runs the Pictures Cafe. So you say you've been doing art for the rest of your life? Yes. So what made you decide to go into art and design? Strangely enough, I wanted to do a building surveying degree. And I went to Plymouth University and they said, you've got loads of experience, but you've got no qualifications as such. So you need to do a diploma. There's a higher, uh, it's, it's an access course for mature students like me. Um, and it's art and design. And I asked them a number of times, are you sure? It's a full-time course. It's a full-time course, yeah. yeah. Um, and we've been doing it for the last year. So on the basis that I get a merit on this, but I'm, on, I'm actually going to get a distinction, um, then I'll be doing um, probably building surveying. Although I haven't quite made my mind up because I might do fine art. I'm not too sure at the moment. Yeah, so. there's a bit of a difference between building and what you've got here, isn't there? Exactly. So you yeah, of course. Yeah. Also, what process do you use? Um, on these here, I use uh, basically, I do a backwash of colour, yeah. okay, I let that dry. And then I've got another colour on top, and that's all scraped off with acrylic parts, and they're all scraped pictures. And the pictures build themselves as I'm doing them, yeah? So I start seeing things within the pictures, like there, for example, like the waterfall, yeah? And this I thought particularly looked like a cloud, or cloud formation. They tend to make fairly organic shapes, yeah? Like rock formations. That could be maybe some kind of tornado or something like that. Yeah, so you know they're all like this one here for example. Same process, yeah. Exactly the same process we look down there, there's a face. Yeah. You know? So I start seeing these things as I'm doing them. Yeah. yeah. That one there, I see that as somebody said it looks like Vikings, and that's me and look like gods, and I've called that one debate with the gods. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Slightly oh, that's interesting. Slightly yeah, the, uh, the last picture there. When you come away, you can see the face. Yeah, and if you're short sighted, it looks even better. It does that. Yeah. Well, look, I mean, I can see it in the camera, but I can't see it when I'm, when I'm not exactly. seeing the camera. Yeah. It's just quite amazing. Yeah, well, with that one, I was looking at the fact that that's just a pattern. Okay, close up, it's a pattern. What an interesting pattern. From a distance, it looks like a face. Yeah. So you're pleased with that? Yeah, oh, that's cool. the case. Yeah, that's a good Two weeks. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
that's the scraping again, but that's, this time instead of sweeping, I've tried to make it kind of more angular, yeah? yeah. And that kind of gives you more of a, I don't know, like a kind of a rocky effect. And I've called it delible steps, as in delible slate, you know? Yeah. 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 Same effect up there, really. Yeah. More like a wall to me. That's the like as well. Yeah. Right. yeah. The thing people can see, what, you know, whatever you do, although it's completely abstract, people always see something in these pictures. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what's, what's this? Um, ah, okay. Well, that's supposed to represent entropy. Uh -huh. All right. So yeah. that's energy. Okay, and it's dissipating down and down and down. And down yeah. It's like a, a sort of uh, comes in again, order and disorder. That's. For me, that's completely disordered. Oh, it's politics in the UK. Well, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but people see a lot of people make something out of it immediately. Uh, looks like a mountain. Looks like something from Mars or something on the moon, something like that. These are the same. Yeah. Again, these are just ink pictures. Fairly random. In fact, I think it should be around that way. <laughs> but yeah. Um, and again, this one here was a dirty pour. Okay. And to me, it looked like a. The uh, sort of seascape in the back. Exactly, yeah, that's what I could see. So I, so that was fairly random, yeah. and then I painted in the seascape at the back, and that, to me it looks like cliffs or something like that. You know, it reminds me of Cornwall. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, in a in a fairly abstract and lurid kind of way, but you, you see what I'm, what I'm getting at. The colours, I like the colours. Yeah, I like the colours. So, so what's the next step then? The next step, well, it depends on whether I'm going to study fine art or whether I'm going to study building yeah. surveying. Yes. That was the whole reason why I did the course in the first place. Um, I'm going to do a degree at Plymouth University, in all probability. Uh, I've got an offer to do um, fine art, uh, I've got an offer to do building surveying, and I've got an offer to do 3D design craft. And I'm not in The art's in one way or the other. I'm not entirely sure. I might do building surveying. Mm, the money's probably in building surveying. Um, but I really enjoy the art. It's whether I'm 52, so it's at my it's age. Nothing, it was. Nothing. Yeah, exactly. It's like, but it's, do you go with your heart? Do you go with your head? You know, yeah. is it objective or is it subjective? And that's the decision I've got to make. Yeah, so, and I'm struggling with that one at the moment. Um, I haven't got. Well, I've got a Facebook account. Um, I have got a website. I use Deviant Art. I don't know if you're a Deviant Art. Yeah, I've got a portfolio up on Deviant Art. Yeah, so. My name is Apricious, as in warm sun on a cold day. Apricity, I don't know, Apricious? Apric sorry, I've got this is called, yes. Do you want one, do you? There you go. Or, maybe. Uh, that one there. I'm coming reasonably close to the camera, can you get that? Okay, and. Oh, no way around. That's me. Alright, thank you.
Contact Ian at ian 1964 at gmail.com. Also on 077 22 061 232. You can accept commissions. Thanks to everyone at the Royal William Yard Plymouth. You can contact them through Facebook and Twitter and probably on YouTube. This has been a Customer Field video production 2017. You can contact me at ccsphoto12 at hotmail.com. And if you can help to sponsor my videos, you can PayPal me at ccsphoto1 at gmail.com. Thanks for watching the video. It's a musical lifestyle thing.